point into this one is classification of IC engine. Classification of IC engine or engine. Let us see. First classification is according to design. How it is designed? That is a rotary engine and a reciprocating engine. What is meant by rotary engine and reciprocating engine? Rotary engine means what? Like steam turbine. In steam turbine, the blades are rotating one. Blades are rotating one. That is what called as a rotary engine. And in case of internal combustion engine, the piston will be reciprocating. So if parts are reciprocating, then it's called as a reciprocating engine. If parts are rotating, then it's called as a rotary engine. So this is according to types of design. Next, according to combustion. There are two types, internal combustion engine and external combustion engine. So it's a simple. Internal combustion engine means what? If combustion of the fuel takes place inside the engine, then it is called as internal combustion engine. If combustion of fuel takes place outside the engine, then it is called as external combustion engine. Now, what are the example of internal combustion engine? All engine what we use for an atom boils. These are internal combustion engine. What is the example of external combustion engine? External combustion engine is a steam turbine. We know in a steam turbine, we are not burning fuel inside a turbine. We are burning in the boiler. Then we are converting water into the steam and then that steam is used for running the turbine. So in the turbine we are not burning a fuel and that's why it is called as external combustion engine. So these are the two types according to combustion. Next is according to number of stroke. Two stroke, four stroke. So if engine working on a two stroke cycle then it's called a two stroke engine if engine is working on a four stroke then it's called a four stroke engine so regarding this we are going to discuss in detail further next types of ignition types of ignition is spark ignition engine compression ignition engine now for combustion of the fuel if you are using a spark plug then it is called as uh, spark ignition engine for combustion of fuel if you are using a fuel injector then it is called as compression ignition engine basically what is compression ignition engine we are going to compress the charge and then we are going to ignite it and that's why it's called as compression ignition engine and what is spark ignition engine spark ignition engine we are using a spark plug for ignition that's why it's called as spark ignition engine okay next type is type of cooling air cooled system and water cooled system now if you are cooling engine by using natural air then it's called as air cooled engine if you are cooling the engine by using a water then it's called as water cooled engine okay that's simple classification next classifications are number of cylinders in number of cylinder single cylinder multi cylinder single cylinder only one cylinder is there then it's called as single cylinder multi cylinder if more than one cylinder is used then it's called as multi cylinder engine type of cylinder type of cylinder under inline radial u type h type this is the shape in u shape if all cylinders are arranged then it's called as u type of in h shape it is all uh, all it is arranged then it's called as h type of cylinder next classification is type of fuel used now what are the type of fuel used petrol diesel dual and gas majority engine will find a petrol engine and diesel engine so if petrol is used as a fuel then it's called as petrol engine if diesel is used as a fuel then it's called as diesel engine next fuel supply how you are supplying a fuel to the engine one is carburetor if fuel is going through the carburetor then it's called a carburetor type of engine and if fuel is going through the fuel injector then it is called as <coughs> fuel injector type speed what is speed of your engine if speed is low then it's called a low speed engine medium speed engine high speed engine this one and according to application this is last classification where you are using that particular engine that is marine engine automobile engine locomotive engine aircraft engine so this classification is according to applications according to applications so these are various classification of the engine basically